All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how exactly you need to prepare for the upcoming July and August series. I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to and asking uh, what are the important topics and what are the topics you guys should prepare, you guys uh, should study in order to prepare for the October, November, sorry, in order to prepare for the July, August series. Now, before I get into this, there's something that I'd like to put out and that is I or anyone else, any of your teacher is in no position to tell you what topics you need to focus on and what topics you need to neglect entirely. Okay, that's that's a bold claim to make. Okay, I'm not going to make any such claims with the exception of maybe one or two topics. But yeah, you have to study the entire syllabus when you're preparing for it. However, however, having said that, there are some topics, okay, which we're going to see with the help of data, okay, uh, not just uh, pure assumptions, but with the help of some data, which, uh, by the way, I would like to thank uh, Lahesh Aftab. She is a student of mine. She was a student of mine, and uh, now we're working together on Bright, which, as you guys know, is an educational platform. And if you haven't signed up for it, you should. There's a lot of content on that platform from which you guys can benefit from, as I will be talking to you guys about it in a minute. So, yeah, uh, in short, basically, I or anyone else is in no position to make a claim that these are the topics that you should study and these are the topics you don't. However, there are some topics which you guys should focus on more than the others, okay? That's something that I can say, okay? I, if you guys have been following me, you know I don't give any sort of guest papers or uh, expected paper. I don't do anything like that, okay? Every topic is important, okay? You never know what's gonna come, okay? So yeah, uh, the more you practice, the better it is for you. So basically, this right here is, uh, so you can see that uh, over here I have some some topics, okay? These are so 20, not 20 in fact, these are like 15, 16 topics, okay? That are important, okay? It's not the entire syllabus, bear in mind, but these are 15, 16 topics. And we're gonna see how often these topics have come in paper two uh, in the last five years, okay? So you can see that this column here shows uh, 2020, the two papers of 2020, May, June and October, November. And bear in mind that we're talking entirely of uh, variant 2, which is our variant, paper 2, variant 2, okay, 2019, 2018, 2017, and 2016, okay, so, uh, we start off with set language annotation, you can see that set language annotation out of uh, 10, it has only appeared in 4 papers, okay, so again, with the help of this, you guys can prepare your, uh, you, you know, you can plan your revision accordingly, and that's something that this is for entirely okay and then you have limits of accuracy which out of 10 came in two papers okay so it, it came in the october november and may june session of 2020 and then you have percentages everyday math algebraic manipulation and uh, solutions of equations and inequalities so this is something that came in all 10 of the papers okay so these are the four or five topics that you guys four topics one two three four yeah so these are four topics that you guys must focus on okay you cannot neglect them everyday maths is a very important topic by the way everyday maths is a topic that i have covered entirely from scratch on bright okay uh, if you haven't signed up sign up it's for free for now and uh, there's a lot of content from on that platform from which you can benefit and uh, it will definitely help you prepare for paper two and then you have algebraic manipulation which basically means uh, you know equations multiplication making this the subject that the subject stuff like that and then uh, solutions of equations and inequalities again very important and then you have graphs of inequalities which is likely to come in paper one as you can see that in the last uh, 10 papers it has only come try it has it, it only came thrice in paper two okay and uh, that means the rest of the times it came in paper one. And then you have number sequences. Again, that's more of a paper one topic, which is why in the last 10 years, there's a, it has only happened once that it came in paper two, okay? So graphs in practical situations, kinematics basically. So that also is a paper one topic. So it, it only came four times in the last 10. And then you have graphs of functions, very, very, very important topic for paper two, as you guys can see that it came nine out of a total 10 times in paper two. And then coordinate geometry, again, very important. You can't neglect it entirely. Similarity and congruence is a 50-50. This is something you guys should practice, okay? But like I said, with the help of this, you guys will definitely be able to plan your revision better okay this by no means is to is telling you what topic you should skip and what topic uh, you should uh, do okay yes it is telling you what topic you need to focus on more and what topics you should maybe do first and what topics you can do later mensuration 
you know, everyone's favorite. Uh, that was sarcasm, by the way. Uh, comes in every paper. Then, then you have the likes of trigonometry, which again, by the way, is covered from scratch on uh, Bright. So do check it out. And then you have vectors. Vectors you'll find on my YouTube channel. Okay, uh, I have uh, an entire playlist in which I've covered the topic from scratch. So you know that's covered. Transformation you'll find a bit of on my YouTube channel. But if you're looking for a more systematic way of uh, doing transformations, I'd suggest that you log on to Bright uh, and cover it from there. And then you have probability again, very important for paper two statistics, which includes your histogram your uh, bar chart, cumulative frequency, pie chart, mean, median, mode of scattered data, group data, correlation, so or scatter plot, whatever you wish to call it. So, you know, all of that has been coming in. Uh, correlation, bear in mind, was only added in 2018, okay? So other than that, it is a very important paper two topic. So, yeah, this was, this was something that uh, I really wanted to cover with you guys, and I think, after this, you guys will have a better picture, a fair idea of what are the topics. Again, I cannot emphasize on this enough that this by no means is to tell you what topics you can skip. Yes, there are some topics such as symmetry and angle properties of circles, which nine out of 10 times you'll find in paper one, okay? But uh, matrices, functions also. But again, that by no means am I suggesting that you, sh you should skip that. You skip those topics altogether, okay? Do them, but again, uh, focus. First, I would suggest that you do the paper two topics, okay? Percentages, everyday math, which is which I've covered on right. And then I've done a bit of mensuration also, but and mensuration is a topic that you'll find on my YouTube channel, okay? Graphs of functions, I've, I've, uh, I've covered a bit of, in fact, I've covered quite a few uh, possible questions on my YouTube channel, okay? and uh, similarity and congruence i haven't done it in a lot of detail loci is something that i've covered entirely on my youtube channel but again it's more like a paper or two uh, paper one topic sadly so for october november students you guys can do loci and even graphs of inequalities these are two topics that i've covered on my youtube channel from scratch and uh, so yeah uh, that's this i that i guess is it and again i wish you guys the best of luck and do focus you have two months left which i think is enough time given that the topics you guys need to focus on and uh, i'll i will be putting out more and more content on my youtube channel and on bright and i also have a paid crash course going on for july august series and for october november series so if you wish to enroll yourself in that make sure to drop me a message on instagram or whatsapp so that i can share the details with you so yeah that's that's about it and uh, Best of luck. So that's all for this video. See you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.